Hey everybody, Mr. Campbell here from MrCampbellRocks.com. I'm just giving a quick intro to the video training that's going to start after this. Uh, this is about Twitter and TweetDeck and how to use Twitter more effectively on your laptop, desktop, iPad, computer. Uh, it allows you to see all of the things that you're following, your hashtags, your notifications, all of those things. Much better to use than the traditional Twitter um, app on the phone. Um, again, I appreciate you. I love you. I'm glad that you're here. I'm not going to say it at the end because this was previously recorded. If you find value in this video, this tutorial, um, if this saves you time, energy, and or frustration, go ahead and give it a like or uh, follow along or um, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate what you're doing for kids at this moment in time. Again, thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. Fellow administrators, this is a screencast using Screencastify. If it cuts off at the 10 minute mark, I will send a follow up. So this is the regular Twitter. If you go to twitter.com and you sign up for an account, um, this is what your account is going to look like. Um, so there's a few things that you need to be aware of. Over here is what's trending. And that's based on people that you follow and things that you are interested in um, or what's trending worldwide, right? Up here, you'll have the number of tweets that you have, people that you're following. Uh, following is different than being friends like on Facebook or Instagram. Um, when you follow somebody, you're going to see everything that they put in their feed. Um, and then there's people that are following you. This is actually your feed here. So this is the user profile picture, the user, and then this is their name, right? Their Twitter handle, if you will, is what it's called. It's a handle. The last time they tweeted, this is their tweet, and they're actually linking to something else here. So if I click on this, it's going to take a longer version of a picture from somebody else. The hashtag is what actually connects a bunch of different things to um, an event or a moment or a um, tragedy or something like that. If you can see down here, today's National Kitten Day, so you have all these tweets coming in. You have Wednesday Wisdom. You have the Mackenzie Luke thing that's obviously here. Obviously, this other name right here. Um, and then you'll see what's happening. So this is where you can actually add a tweet. Um, and I'm just gonna put in test tweet, um, even though people will know it's not because I've been tweeting before. I can add a GIF, I can add a poll, I can add a location, I can add a picture, a video. This is a little bit easier to do with your phone than on a desktop, but this is what it looks like. Um, so when I put this here, what it'll do is when I put in a hashtag, it will update, um, and I'll, and I'll show you why this is important a little bit later. Um, you can add different things here if you want. Um, so as I tweet this out, uh, what you'll notice is a couple of different things that happen is my own tweets will show up in my timeline. Um, and then my timeline will update. When you find a tweet, you can actually respond to that here in the comments. You can retweet this, which basically means I really like this. I want to resend this out. So you can retweet that or you can heart it or slash favorite it. You can also send that person a personal, a direct message. Now, some people have chosen to open up so anybody can send them a direct message. You could also lock it where only people that you follow can direct to send you a direct message because there's auto bots out there and they send different things like that. Um, you'll always have suggestions over here on who to follow based on who you currently follow. There's an algorithm that Twitter has that, that puts that together, right? Up across the top is your home nav. So this is my home screen. You can click on moments. And what that'll do is that'll pull up moments that are trending on Twitter with the visuals that are going on. So this armored truck in Atlanta, all this money flow out. This is people picking up the money. Um, an article this morning, um, uh, the US Women's National Team, right? Uh, entertainment. So there's just different things on people that you follow and trends that you follow. Notifications, this is gonna give me any kind of notification of a retweet, a message, a mention, um, or somebody that I follow, uh, a bunch of other people have liked. So there's that. And then it'll have messages. So messages, this will be uh, just all the things that people have messaged me for. And sometimes there's a, hey, thanks for the follow, other things like that. Um, so this is the home Twitter feed, right? So what we talked about the other day was tweet deck. So this is kind of just by itself. All of that information that I shared with you comes alive when you go over to tweet deck. So tweet deck um, is all of those things that I just were, was clicking on 
all in one screen and <clears throat> excuse me so what this allows me to do is it allows me to see my running feed my notifications any of the hashtags that i want to follow here as well as um, other lists so the nice thing about twitter is i can make lists so this list right here i have this is just a minute uh, administrators around the country uh, it's a list that somebody shared with me that i liked this hashtag right here, lead up chat. This is a national chat. I think it happens on Saturday mornings if I remember correctly. Um, you can see here, you can see some of these other ones like a pirate. That's what these are, kids deserve it. So if I click on that one, kids deserve it. What you'll notice is it'll open up a new um, hashtag or column and anybody that's used that kids deserve it will show up in this. And the great thing about Twitter is you can use videos, media, uh, GIFs, pictures, right? So you'll notice here, she take a picture of this book, highlight it, she's like, I love this, I wanna share this with everybody else. So she did that. All the things over here on the left are how I can organize my columns. So if I wanna take out this column, so this is a tweet that I shared or that I liked, if I wanna take this off, I can just remove it. If I wanna take off JSD lead, I can take it. So what you'll see now is that Nate and Teresa and Stuart have all started using the JSD lead hashtag. That's the one that we talked about putting together the other day. And that's the same thing now. That's just capitalized. So I'm going to remove this one. That's kind of a dumbed down quick version of how to do this. Uh, when we get into actually doing the discussion online in a couple months or in a couple weeks, excuse me, um, I'll go into more specifics about abbreviations and how questions and answers are posted um, in those actual conversations. Along with this video, I'm going to share you share with you a list of um, chats that are happening across the country at any given time at any given moment, and the hashtag that goes along with that, and a description of that educational chat. Um, and you can use it however you want. So, if you have questions, send me an email. You guys are awesome.